Hey everybody, Suze here back with another keto dinner idea for you today. I am preparing this keto sesame salmon with some curry seasoned cabbage, almost like a cabbage slaw on the side. And this is adapted from a recipe by dietdoctor.com. Of course, I'll link the original down below. If you're not already a member of the crew, please hit that subscribe button for us. It makes us happy and encourages us to keep making videos. Let's do it. So to start out with, for this really easy keto recipe, we are gonna be taking four salmon fillets. These are about seven and a half to eight ounces each. And I have just have them thawed out, adding a little bit of Himalayan pink salt to them, along with some fresh ground black pepper. Now the original recipe I have linked down below, they do make a lime mayo. That's just regular mayonnaise seasoned with uh, some lime juice and zest, but they do not actually prepare anything with it. They just, use it as a condiment on the side and I'm not a mayo fan so I did not make that but if you would like to check it out down below. Grabbing another plate and just adding some plain white sesame seeds to it. The recipe calls for a third of a cup sesame seeds. I have less than a fourth of a cup sesame seeds here and that was perfect for my needs but you can do more or less depending on how you like it. We're just going to take our salmon one filet at a time and dip it down into our sesame seeds and then you can see I'm just brushing off a little of the excess getting it exactly how I like it again you do you and add as much or as little as you prefer and I'm just repeating this with all four of our salmon fillets And one thing with cooking salmon, the way we're gonna prepare it, I like to go ahead and do this first to make sure our salmon can sit out and be nice in room temperature before we add it to our hot skillet later. Just helps it cook better and, you know, doesn't cool your pan off when you add it. All right, sticking these to the side, going over to the stove top and we're going to make our curry, Thai curry cabbage slaw. So over in a large pot, over medium high heat, I'm adding two tablespoons of coconut oil. You could use whatever type of oil you like. I didn't mind the coconut taste in this uh, dish because it's a Thai inspired dish, but if you do, you could use avocado oil or even extra virgin olive oil. I'm opting to use two eight and a half ounce bags of just tri-colored uh, coleslaw mix for this recipe just to make things easier and I'm not worried about the little bit of carrot shavings that are in there. The original recipe calls for red curry paste and I don't have any of that so I opted to use two teaspoons of just dried curry powder and it tasted phenomenal along with one third a cup of water and then I'm also adding in a fourth of a teaspoon ground black pepper and a fourth of a teaspoon sea salt just going ahead and stirring this from the bottom until all of our seasonings are mixed in there nicely and our cabbage starts to soften a little, but I don't want to overcook it. I really want it to still have that kind of firm texture to it. I literally only cooked this maybe two minutes total to get it to the texture that I like, but again, adapt it to how you prefer. Now after I stirred that around just for maybe a minute more, like I said, I'm finishing it off with one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil and just adding that to it, giving it a quick toss, and then I'm just gonna remove this from the heat. Now if you want yours to stay warm while you do your salmon, you could put it on low heat on another burner, but for me, like this salmon's gonna cook up so quickly, I'm just moving it to the side. Taking a large skillet, putting it on that same medium high burner, melting one tablespoon of coconut oil, and then I'm just gonna add our room temperature sesame seed encrusted salmon fillets, and then I'm gonna cook these for two minutes on each side. So after two minutes on the first side, I'm just using a little narrow spatula here to flip these over. And you can see as I flip them that they're mostly all the way cooked through already. And I'm just gonna cook them for an additional two minutes on the other side. And this might be the shortest video I've made in a while because that is seriously all there is to this easy keto salmon recipe. I mean, this is like perfect healthy meal 
that is great for a weeknight, easy to just throw together. And we even ate the leftovers for lunch the next day. I know some people are not big on reheating fish, but I don't mind it at all. So we did. Here it is plated up. I did just put a little pop of um, sesame seeds on top of that slaw just for the photo's sake, but it was great without it. Again, check the original recipe down below if you want to make the lime mayo. Um, I didn't feel like it needed it at all. If I was making a cold curry slaw, I would have maybe mixed that with lime mayo as a side item. I think that might be interesting to try. But as for using it as a condiment to dip my salmon in, not really that big of a fan of that. Um, it might be great to put on your salmon if you were baking it instead of cooking it in the pan. So if any of you do that, comment down below, let me know uh, what you thought about it if you do try out the lime mayo portion of this recipe. And also comment down below any recipe ideas or suggestions you would like to see us do. And if you have any keto recipes that you've perfected that you would like us to try making, you can email those to me at suzeandthecrew at gmail.com. Thank you Micromanix for emailing me one last week. We will be working on that soon. And until next time, bye y'all.